Well, herring gangs is actually one of my very first memories. When I was little tiny, um, my dad, who is or was a commercial fisherman, um, he came back with herring eggs, and so you have to imagine I must have been two, and he was holding a s stock of herring eggs, and I remember just being itty bitty and looking up really high at this tree of herring eggs and being really excited and being able to chew on them. When herring spawn, they go into a giant ball, and that's the term that's used for a, a school of herring. And uh, they will literally swim through the ocean and they look for shallow coves. They're looking for a safe place to nest their eggs. So uh, we discovered hundreds, thousands of years, if you drop a tree, a hemlock tree, into the spawning area, the eggs will just get attached. And when you eat them fresh out of the water, they're the most amazing thing I've ever eaten. There's not describing it. My wife, family, and I, we live in Hatcher's Pass, Alaska, in this fantastic little cabin next to Little Sioux. For being an hour outside of Anchorage and 20 minutes outside of Wasilla, we live pretty rurally. Um, we're on 40 acres in a log cabin that's off-grid. Some people would laugh at it and say, that's not rural, but compared to the city, it, it is. Uh, it's a fairly typical cabin, truth be told. It's uh... Off-grid, we still burn wood for primary heat source. Um, owners at the time decided to give it an off-grid electrical setup, so we have a battery setup and that gives us power when we need it. So my husband and I have been together for six years and we have um, four kids total and we have three boys and one girls and so or one girl and we just have chaos that ensues at all times because they're always playing or play fighting or real fighting or doing something and as soon as one quiets down then the other ones get riled up and um, we make our own chaos but it's it's good for us so we had muktuk from Barrow. We were visiting in Barrow and they had a whale hunt and so we were blessed to be able to bring some of that home. We had herring egg salad, which is a staple in the southeast. It had big greens and with the dressing and herring eggs and onions. And then we had herring egg and smoked salmon stir fry rice with brown rice. Um, and that's one of our soul foods, our comfort foods. And we had seal grease, which was a super surprise. We thought that we had used our last jar of seal grease, and it keeps us healthy and well. So one of the reasons why we're out here is to be more sustainable and to live along our cultural values. When you're out here, you feel small and you feel connected, and you're part of the landscape. So that's really important for us, is so that our children have that relationship with the Earth.